Hello, hello, and welcome back to another video here on this channel. My name is Riley, and today's video, we are doing something new. We are starting a new save in a new country, a country I've never actually done a save in before, and that is Ireland. We are going down to the first division of the Irish League. We are going to be the new manager of Galway United. And I haven't done anything like this on the channel before where I stick with one team and carry them all the way to the top. But essentially, the goal of this series is to build up Galway United, get them to the Premier Division in Ireland, win that, and then win the Champions League. That is the final goal. Once we win the Champions League, we are done. That's it? That's it. So, first things first, let's see what we're working with. Galway United have today confirmed the appointment of Riley Canuck as the club's new manager. Eyebrows have been raised in the world, whatever. <clears throat> Canuck has put pen to paper on a two-year deal worth 600 pounds per week. Very nice. Very nice. So this is the players that we're working with. Very exciting. We'll look into that a little bit more coming up. Uh, so the goals they have for us is to work within wage budget. Cool. Minimum tier contracts with first team players. Okay. Reach promotion playoff. And then everything else is whatever. Looking to sell the club. <laughs> All right. That is a great sign that the current owner wants to leave. Great. It's not a great sign that the owner is wanting to sell the club pretty much right after this season, but that's fine. We'll work with what we have. Looking at the club info, uh, the tribesman's their nickname. We have no captain or vice captain currently. Uh, Dobby would be uh, Connat Dobby. Other rivals, them. Very exciting. We play at the uh, Amon Desi Park. 5,000 capacity. Season ticket holders is 5,665. Pretty good. It's a professional club, actually. I thought I was going to get a semi pro club. Founded in 1937. Probably one of the newer, newer clubs that I've dealt with before. Uh, financial situation, that's more or less what I'm curious about. They actually have a pretty penny in the bank. 106,000 pounds. Not bad. And there is room in the wage budget as well. That is also something I did not expect to see. Looking at their debt, they have none. Projections. Eh, we need to get promoted. We need to win some games. Very clear on that one. Players in last year of contract. Uh, pretty much everyone. <laughs> okay. Well, let's look at the squad. How about that? That's probably the first thing that we should be doing here is looking to see what we are dealing with. So first things first, we'll look with the attackers. So striker uh, up front, Shane so Shane Daughtery, he's a 24-year-old American, actually. Wow. With Okay, so he actually is worth quite a bit. At 24 years old, how long has he been with us? He's been with us for quite a bit, three years. He just came on a free. And he can play on either wing. Looks like he's a natural on the left. He's crossing and dribbling. Leave a lot to be desired. But he is a quick, athletic player, so that is good to know. Uh, next up for strikers, again, he's a winger on the right side, but he is considered a natural as an attacker. 25-year-old Irishman, Ruaidi Keating. Keating, again, I am going to butcher some of these names, and I apologize. Gaelic or Irish is not a language that I am very familiar with, despite my first name. So it looks like he doesn't have tremendous finishing but he is a uh, again an athletic player that has some skills so we can deal with that next Padre Cunningham he's a 24 year old Irishman of course and he is a striker he's our first pure striker but he's more of a target man it looks like eh, target man I don't know I don't usually play with a target man myself his finishing is a 10 which is one of the higher ones we've seen thus far but still not fabulous at this point his contract is up sooner than later as well. Next, we have Mickey Rowe. Mickey Rowe is a 24-year-old Irishman again. Okay, so there's quite a few attackers, actually. And they're all fairly young. That is great. Potential ability is high. This Cunningham fellow, though, when does his contract expire at the end of this year? Is that when the season is done? Season is done at the end of this year. Okay, cool. So the season starts in January. Starts pretty soon. Let's see. When does it start? Starts 
January, starts February 12th, so a couple weeks, and it goes until October, so the fall. Okay, cool. Good to know. Good to know. So it looks like Cunningham is on his last part of his uh, journey with us, and unless he is a tremendous player, he's probably not going to be around, but we'll see. Who else do we have here? We have Mikey Place, 23-year-old Irishman, plays on the right. We can play anywhere in the front attacking four positions but more on the right and striker he's got better finishing so that's that's good potential four star potential ability other than him francely lamboto he is from from the congo drc and yeah 20 years old not too bad uh, a lot of these players you'll see in other parts of the squad but on the left wing ronan manning who is a uh, 20 year old irishman no youth caps, but he is a four and a half star potential ability player, which is pretty awesome. And he looks like he can kind of do it all. That's a great player to have on the left side. And he is young, but uh, signing him to a longer contract would be ideal. I don't know if I'm able to do that. Let's see. Two year contract. Can I do that? Yearly wage increase. No. See, I gave him a three. He just wants a two. Okay, fine. You got a two-year contract. Very exciting for you. Next, we have Shane Daughtery. We already saw Carlton Ubai Zono, Zonu. He is 22 Nigerian player. Looks like a fringe player, potentially. Kind of fringe player. I don't know. He doesn't seem like he's horrific or anything. He looks like he's okay. Kind of an athletic guy. So that's good to know. Other guys that we haven't looked at, Wilson Wawedi, Wawedu, Wilson Wawedu. He is 20-year-old Irish international, and he was also Kenyan inter uh, nationality as well. Colin Kelly is next, 19-year-old Irishman. Uh, three and a half star potential. All right, cool. That's fine. And looking in the middle... Ronin, yeah, we don't really have a great, like, this Ronin, Ronin Manning fellow, who's 20 years old, he can play in the left or the center as an attacking midfielder, and he is, looks like he's kind of our best player in those two positions, which is not awesome, so I think so far, at least, looking at this, we would, it would be nice for us to have someone more depth here, like quality, a strong player, if I can. On the right side, uh, Keating is our go-to person from the looks of it, but he's 25, and let me guess, he's done at the end of this year. Uh, other than him, though, it's people we've already named. So I think another striker would be beneficial for us. Looking at the midfield, we have Connor McCormick, who is a 30-year-old ball-winning midfielder. He is obviously a star player playing in his prime. So that is great to know. But do we have a playmaker? That is a question I want to have answered. Not a playmaker. He's a 24-year-old Irishman, Gary Boylan. And it looks like he's primarily a center back, but he can play right back, and he can play as a DM and is a ball-winning midfielder in the middle. Okay. So that does not answer my question. What about you, David Hurley? Okay, he's a Vance playmaker with a four-star potential ability three and a half star current <coughs> so that that's good to know actually that is good to know because he could be an important player for us moving forward next maurice nud nugget nugget ball winning midfielder ronan manning again is a player that could play down in as a midfielder did i did i actually offer him a new contract yes i did okay so ronan manning seems to be our best player my best player i mean like currently he's a solid player but also long term he has potential to be the best player on the pitch so we need to keep him so midfield eh, i think the priority right now is another striker and then honestly it looks like left back might need some help as well because our top left back is actually a center back named joe gorman and I would definitely think a left back 
is needed. Center back, on the other hand, Gary Bolin, Joe Gorman, Connor O'Keefe. He can play right or center. Yeah, he can play right back. Actually, not too bad. And then looking at keeper real quick, let's look and see Kevin Horgan, 23-year-old. Not too bad, actually. Not too shabby. Okay, so that's kind of a quick, 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 quick overview of the squad. So what I'm going to do from here on out is, I guess first things first, what staff do I have? Do I have any? I could hire two scouts at least. I'm going to do that. Let's put a, a advert out for scouts and a chief scout. Director of football, I'm going to leave for now. We probably need a physio. So I will do that. And we'll leave it at that for now when it comes to performance analysts. No, I'm not going to do that. Okay. So what needs to be done is I need to go to the unattached or players that don't have contracts bring a bunch of people in on trial and see if I can improve striker, midfield, and then left back, especially. Those three positions. Then after that, center back. And then right back, maybe. I don't know. Something like that. But striker will be our number one, and then left back. And we'll go from there. But I will come back before the start of the season just to see what we have hopefully we get some scouts in because our world knowledge is only three percent which is pretty lame currently and we have no players scouted obviously because you know we haven't done anything so first things first let's get some trials in and see if we can improve this squad so let's go Alrighty, so we are ready to move forward into the season we have made a couple moves just to uh go all over those real quick so moves I made were first off, I brought in a bunch of guys on trial, as one does in the lower leagues of any football manager save. But this 19-year-old Englishman, Bobby Carroll, stood out. He is four-star current ability, five-star potential ability, and he's a box-to-box -box ball winning midfielder. Not necessarily the player that I needed, but one that could bring a lot of value to the club. So that was a no-brainer. Sign him, make it easy. He spent time with Everton and obviously did not cut it there. Next, Jimmy O'Hara, 15-year-old Irishman. Uh, I actually did not bring him in myself. I don't know why I'm showing you this. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't do that. He's not a player for now. Same with this fellow, uh, Mohamed Saliman. Uh, I did not bring him in either. So really the only player I brought in was Bobby Carol. Other players, I'm pretty sure. So I know that was a little anticlimactic. I only brought in one player officially on my own. But it, to be honest, it's only been like two weeks. So yeah, we'll see how it goes. And because they're free trial players, I'm going to keep bringing them in as often as I can. So honestly, let's just get into this and see how the match goes. I want to see who they suggest. I'm pretty sure it's pretty similar. Is Mikey Rowe the best player for us to start up top? Honestly, probably is. On the left, we're going to go with uh, our main man, Shane Dotry. So one of our best players, Ronan Manning, will be our attacking midfielder. And then on the right, we have Rory Keating, the 25-year-old English. <laughs> English, I apologize, Rory. The 25-year-old Irish winger. Next, we'll have Hurley as our... Deep lying playmaker. Do I want him deep lying or do I want him to be advanced? I think I want him to be advanced. And then McCormick will be our ball winning midfielder. Bobby Carroll is in the wings as well because McCormick is a little bit older. Well, he's 30. He's not that bad, actually. But we're going to need some help. Next, we have Walsh. I am still looking to bring in a permanent solution at left back because we do not really have anyone. Gorman. Uh, Boylan and O'Keefe will make out the rest of the back four with Horgan in net. Horgan is someone I am confident about. The rest of the guys in the back four eh, could use some improving. But, yeah, it's what we have right now. So let's get into this match and see how we do. I don't number that bad boy. Bobby Carroll, number eight. That's a solid number for you, Bobby. I want to be impressed today. Go and put on a show. I sound so inspiring. And they're off. 
Gorman to Boylan. Boylan takes it to Hurley. Hurley's looking to make a play because he is the playmaker in the middle of the field. Fancy that. Boylan again. Gorman to Hurley. To Manning. To Rowe, who is not very far forward for an advanced forward. Uh, Keating gets the ball now. Rory Keating gets it to Manning, who gets it to Walsh. Walsh looks to cross, and uh, the other Walsh on their side is able to hit it away. O'Keefe looks to cross, and it goes out for a quarter. Actually, quarter tactics have not been set up by me yet. That's my bad. I don't know what they're going to do. Hurley gets it up. Boylan. Oh. Honestly, he should have done something with that. Oh, well. We move forward. Here we go again. McCormick to Keating. Keating gets it back to McCormick. McCormick gets it back to Gorman. Gorman over to Hurley to Manning. Manning tries to find Walsh, and he does. Dot Reed gets it back to Walsh. Nice one two one And it gets it crossed over to Rowe. Rowe gets fouled. They're calling that a penalty. Interesting. Do I agree? I don't know. I'm not the ref, but I'll take it. Who's actually going to be taking this penalty? I don't know. Uh, Keating. Rory Keating. Oh. Let's go, boys. Rory Keating with the first goal of the season and of the save. We are up 1-0. Beauty. Just enough power to get it past the keeper. Hurley now gets it up. Rowe was there, but no one else was, so there's that. Dotry gets it to Gorman. Gorman back to Walsh. To Dotry, who's going to cross it over. Who is supposed to be in the front? We definitely... Ooh, Manning. That was actually close by Ronan Manning. It was a poor attempt at a finish, but he tried. We definitely need an attacking presence in that penalty area. Uh, Row, no offense to you, Mikey, but you are... Not doing it for me right now. Walsh. Walsh taking up the left side of the field. He's got lots of space, and he looks to cross, and he does cross. Gets it up to Keating. Keating to Rowe. Oh, Rowe had an opportunity there to score, but he does not. It was something, but like I said, we need a little bit more of a presence in that penalty area. Rowe, man, he just proved me wrong. Well, to be fair, it was off a set piece, but great goal. Great header by our attacking or advance forward, rather. Great goal. Great goal. Cheers to you. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Oh, and Connor McCormick is out. He just got hurt. Great. So McCormick will go to the bench. Who will replace him? But the new signing, Bobby Newport. Just joking. Bobby Carroll, ladies and gentlemen. What did I just do? Okay. It's all good. Yeah, Bobby Carroll is in for McCormick. I did not want the passing on the guard to happen this fast for McCormick and Bobby Carroll, but hopefully McCormick recovers because I'd rather have the depth than a replacement for him at this point in time. Boylan to Hurley. Hurley's going to get to Manning. Manning gets it back to Carroll for his first touch of the for the day and in a Galway United kit. Uh, Dotry gets dispossessed quite easily, I might add. <laughs> no offense to you, but a little bit. Phillips back to someone else. And here we go. Gorman to Hurley to Rowe. Rowe's looking. Gets it to Manning. Manning has guys all over him. They are, man, they're making that middle of the field hard to play through. They have so many guys there. Keating. Keating shoots and scores. Rory Keating, ladies and gentlemen. And Rowe with the assist. It's been ruled out. No VAR, I guess, in this league. Whatever. O'Keefe. O'Keefe gets it to Manning. To O'Keefe again. To Carroll. To Manning. To O'Keefe. Oh, my goodness. Let's let's move forward, boys. Bobby Carroll looks at the pass. Goes back to Boylan. Boylan. Hurley to Carroll. Hurley again. Okay. Push it forward. This ticky-tacka business. I usually don't play with ticky-tacka, so it's a little bit of a build-up. But I, I, I can see that's what they're trying to do. They're trying to find that opening. Go out wide. Go out wide. Manning. Manning shoots from range. And I don't know. I thought it went out, but apparently it didn't. And, okay, we get another highlight after all. Gorman now. Gorman looks to pass to Hurley. Hurley looks back to Gorman. Gorman to Rowe. Rowe shoots from range, and Dotry's able to get to it. Gets it to Manning. Manning shoots, and it gets blocked by the center back. 
And that should do it for the half. Nope, they get a highlight. Great. Walsh to Devitt. Devitt, who looks like he has a knock, is going to continue. Curran to Pender. Pender gets it to Devitt. And Devitt's going to shoot. Oh, Lee Devitt. He's able to shoot and score despite having that knock, whatever that knock might be. Great. It was a great look. Great run. Our center backs are just too slow. I thought the keeper had it. I thought he was able to get a hand on it, but apparently not. No clean sheet today, folks. That's okay. We we can manage. It was literally their first shot. They had no XG up to that point. Keep it up, boys. Let's see if we can uh, continue in the second half with what we're doing. Maybe. Maybe. We'll see. Chambers, not our keeper. And we're going to get the ball back here. Yes, Carroll. Dotry. Dotry's going to take it up the left. Or not. What well, gets it to Walsh? I don't know why Dotry didn't. Why isn't he running? He needs to look to run. He's got that space. He's a winger. He's an inverted winger, sure. But he can still run up the sideline. Walsh looks to cross. Gets way up there. Unable to connect. He likes to connect with the other Walsh, which is fine. They're probably cousins. O'Keefe. O'Keefe, where are you going, dude? Turn it back inside. There you go. Bobby Carroll able to help him out. He gets a cross in row with a terrible finish. Yikes. Oh, Manning. Manning gets it up to O'Keefe. Oh, unable, or Keating unable to connect. Carroll now looks to cross. He does. Oh, my goodness. No one can connect on the crosses. Dot reshoots and scores. Shane Dot re. Great goal. Great goal. It all paid off in the end, surprisingly. Let's just see this again. Carroll gets it up. Not able to connect with anyone. Keating to Manning. Manning, nice, nice ball. And just a nice finish. Honestly, if that defender, I don't know what they were doing, but poor defending. <laughs> That's what they were doing. Nothing. Uh, let's get uh, Maurice Nugent on for Boylan. Boylan is having a good game, but he's one of our tired men. So let's get him off if we can. Lions, Lions to Philippe, Colin, what's he going to do, he's going to cross it, oh my gosh, nice save, nice save by Horgan, he makes two tremendous saves, and the center backs can't do anything to help him, what garbage was that, look at that, Pender, again, It's clear that we need some reinforcements on the back end. Oy vey. That is dreadful, honestly. Manning, where are you going to go with it? Oh, what kind of pass was that? Why'd you give it back to Turner? Uh, luckily, he gave it to no one. Holy cow, how slow is Nugent? How slow is he? Please tell me he's just doing that because he's trying to waste time. Because that is unacceptable. Like he's not even moving. Might as well hold on to it then. They're not even pressing or anything. Keating. Keating gets it to Rowe. Rowe shoots. Okay. There we go. His first goal of the season. Is it really his first goal? Oh, he's offside. What? <laughs> Don't believe that. Here. Pause the game. Let's see. Who, who else do we have? Mikey Place. Oh, yeah. Let's put him on. Why not? Right? Why not? Let's try it. Anyone else I can put on? Or is that all my subs? How many subs do I get? Yeah, I get three. Cool. Uh, I'll throw the boys some praise. We have dominated this match. So if we end up losing or drawing, I'll be very, very annoyed. Because, like I said, we have dominated. 27 shots to their six. Nine on target to their five. What? What the heck did I just miss? An offside? Oh, now they're pressing. Gorman, get it out of there, boys. That is risky. Row. Place, I mean. Not row. Can't blame it on him this time. There we go. Horgan, hold on to that ball. Hold on to it. Do not give it up that easy. Gorman now. Nugent. To Carroll. Back and forth. Back and forth. Gorman, get it out of front of the net, please. What are they doing? Keating. 
repeating look to the pass, going for keep, oh keep. Just run it. Run it down. Okay. Gets it to Carroll. Carroll back to O'Keefe. O'Keefe does not make a run though. I don't know what he was trying. And here we go. Pender again. Not Pender. Oh, nice tackle by Nugent. Easily dispossessed Pender. Beauty. Beauty. That's how we end a football match. I don't know why they're showing that highlight now, but beautiful. Love to see that. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Awesome. Well, that's the first match of the season, and we are dun, 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 in second currently. Uh, season preview, let's just take a quick look at that. Oh, they're saying that we're going to do become second. Nice. I can get behind that. Oh, look at that. Bobby Carroll. He's in the Media Dream 11. Well done, Bobby. Well done. Anyways, thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please consider liking, subscribing to the channel, all that fun stuff. I will probably come back in a couple matches just because, you know, why not? So anyways, thank you so much, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.